I'm reading an article on Bloomberg about colleges soaking uh, their poorer students uh, while funneling aid to the rich. Again, another uh, of the unintended consequences of government uh, student loans, where a lot of the student loans, and this is a Bloomberg story points this out, end up going to people that probably didn't need the loans or uh, would have been in a better position to pay the cost of college without the loans. And certainly if the loans weren't there, college would be a lot less expensive. So they certainly wouldn't need the loans. But even this environment, a lot of these loans, uh, a lot of the aid is going to people who don't need it. And the people who theoretically have lower incomes or who are probably uh, more uh, needy of these loans, uh, they're having a harder time getting it. The irony, of course, is that that's probably a good thing. Maybe maybe the maybe the government's doing them a favor or the universities are doing them a favor uh, by not allowing them to borrow a bunch of money in order to uh, go to college so they can just graduate and get some kind of menial uh, low paying job, uh, but not that now be burned burdened by the um, by by the fact that they not only have a, have a low paying job, but they don't even get to enjoy all the low pay because they have to cut a big check to the U.S. government or to their lender uh, to service uh, their loan. It certainly would be better if they can have those jobs without the added burden of having to share their meager earnings uh, with the lending institutions uh, that enabled them to get their worthless degrees. I know the, the, the uh, question that my caller had, I think he was going to ask me, or his point was that he thinks that the reason that the governments want everybody to go to college is so that they can be indoctrinated and graduate as good liberals. And, you know, that certainly might be one of the reasons. But I think a more compelling reason is because they want the votes and the money uh, from the educational bureaucracy. I mean, there's a lot of uh, politics going on. There certainly is a lot of, um, you know, back and forth or there's a very cozy relationship between the educational community, uh, the teachers unions, uh, and the college and, uh, and and politics. And there's a lot of money. I mean, uh, education is an industry. You know, somehow um, people are opposed to big oil, you know, maybe big insurance companies. I mean, so they, they kind of are suspicious when the politicians work with the oil companies or the tobacco companies or the insurance companies. But somehow if they work with education, if it's big education or the educational establishment and the U.S. government, suddenly, you know, it's OK. It's not a big deal anymore. But, but what's the difference? I mean, people think, well, I mean, but tobacco is bad and, and education is good. Well, education is good uh, in theory. It's good if the education is worthwhile if it's meaningful, if the person who's receiving it is benefiting from it. But just because you call something education, but if the person who is supposedly receiving the education isn't actually getting educated or isn't benefiting uh, from learning a bunch of things that are completely worthless uh, uh, in life, then it is bad. I mean, it might be just as bad as smoking. In fact, a lot of kids would be better off if they kept, skipped college and just took up smoking instead. Uh, you know, they might be better off uh, and, you know, they might even li live a better life. Uh, so you can't necessarily just jump to that conclusion, yet everybody is willing to overlook that. But I think that is the main, the main factor that is, uh, that is at work here. It's all about uh, the political payback and the money uh, that the educational establishment routinely funnels back to the politicians to keep them elected. And it is good politics. It, it does work because, you know, it's easy to, to say you're in favor of education because everybody wants kids to be educated. So it's the easiest way to, to show that you're a good guy, you're a caring guy. I care about your kids, right? You politician, I care about your kids, so vote for me. If you want to actually uh, be in favor of something that's actually good for kids and you want to talk against the educational bureaucracy, then it's easy for your opponent to demagogue you and say, well, he's anti-education. He's anti-children. And so nobody wants to uh, 
you know, travel down that path. Nobody wants to get out on a limb and do what's right because they're too worried about the political consequences uh, if they do that. And it's unfortunate that we don't have more politicians who are willing uh, to say the truth and who are willing to put uh, their the national interest or even the interest of their constituents above their own political ambitions. We got one more segment coming up, 855-4-SHIFT. We have open lines. We'll be right back. My misdirection and sudden movements. Give me back my toothbrush and self-improvement. Give me back my good or good or shitters and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, lady. She looked sad and it was pouring. Give me back my umbrella smothering and neediness. you will give me back my hand you greedy witch hey yo good luck zipping up that dress give me back my family drama and the stress 